When you choose to share a file to iTunes here on your iPhone or your iPad, where exactly is that sharing it to? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, one of the questions I get asked an awful lot is what is up with the iTunes option here on my iPhone or my iPad? So if I'm sharing something from any app, let's just use GarageBand here in this example, we get this box here and we can save it to our files, we can do a bunch of things here or we can choose iTunes. But when I tap on iTunes, it brings up something called iTunes file sharing. Now that doesn't actually send it to any anywhere on my phone, anywhere useful, what this is actually doing is sending it to a location on my phone or my iPad that when I sync it up with iTunes on my Mac or my PC, we can actually access it. So that is done now. Let's jump over to my PC, plug in this iPhone and see exactly how it looks at the other end. All right, so here we are on my PC. I've plugged in my iPhone using the lightning to USB cable and I've loaded up iTunes. Now, before I rock out to some Beastie Boys, let's click on the little phone icon we have up here and we're gonna jump into my iPhone settings. Now, over here on the left with all the other music and films and info and everything else, there's an icon here, file sharing. If I click on file sharing, what it's gonna bring up is a display of all of the different apps that I have on my phone that support file sharing. Now, if you can't get to the right app, you come over to the right here and and scroll down and then you can scroll down inside here. Yes, iTunes is not a very well designed piece of software in my humble opinion. Uh, but what we can do here is if we click on GarageBand, this is gonna bring us into our GarageBand file sharing section, except here's the problem. It hasn't actually given us that particular file because do you know where it's put it? It's put it here in GarageBand file transfer. So this is something that happened in iOS 11 with GarageBand. It's not particularly practical because what I have to do now is download this entire folder. So I have to hit save down here and I have to download this entire folder to somewhere on my hard drive here. Let's just pop it here in my music folder and we'll select that. So that's gonna download and copy across that folder but that's got all of the different things I've exported. The e easy way to do this with GarageBand is to actually just export it to the GarageBand folder because all of these files are what are actually stored in my default GarageBand folder on my actual iPhone. So it's much, much simpler to just save it straight out to the GarageBand folder, which I've shown before in previous videos. But for other apps that we have here, so if we scroll down here and we look at other apps like LumaFusion for my video editing, if we come to this app, we can see here that we've got all of our media here. We can actually browse in here and actually access all of the different media that we've been using in LumaFusion here. So the basics of this is if you do export and you share or you save to that iTunes file location, it is going to come into here to iTunes file sharing. You then need to connect up to your Mac or your PC using a lightning to USB cable. And then you can go in here, find the app and then find the files. And to save them, you simply scroll to the bottom and you can hit save. You can also add in files here from your Mac or your PC and send those back to your iPhone or your iPad. So I hope you found this useful and this answers that question I get all the time, which is where on earth do these files get sent when I save to iTunes on my iPhone or my iPad? And there you go. I know this was only a quick overview of this situation, but hopefully it lets you know where these files actually go. There's two more videos all about file management here in iOS, link down below. You can also subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I hope to see you on the next video.